Well, I told you, another weekend has come and gone in about, uh, what, 12 hours, maybe, something like that. And here we are already in the second week of November. Zoom. Got a piece of mail from someone. Cisco, thank you for that. Inside the envelope is another envelope from the United States Department of Commerce, the Economics and Statistics Administration, the U.S. Census Bureau. Now, I don't know how many Americans are going to get this thing and thing it is. It's some kind of a creature in an envelope. It is huge. And it says on the front, cordially, the American Community Survey. So what are they? They're calling it a community survey. The American Community Survey form enclosed. Your response is required by law. All right? Not voluntary. The American Community Survey, it's, it, it's reminiscent of some kind of a, a test I've seen the form before. It's got boxes and colored pages. It's 27 pages long. And it wants to know all kinds of very important personal information. Income in the past 12 months. This is amazing. When did this person last work, even for a few days? And I get they're talking about all kinds of different people here. Anyway, it's... uh, I haven't spent too much time on this. Has this person given birth to any children in the past 12 months? Yes, no. They left maybe out. Yeah, anyway, I don't know what kind of penalties they're threatening if you don't fill this thing out and send it back in. But it's going to attract some attention. If anybody knows anything about any organizations online who are fighting this, uh, let me know. The American Community Survey. Everywhere we look, we are being surveilled. We are being monitored, fold, spindled, mutilated, filed, databased, listened to around the clock. Everything you do is being recorded. Most of you listening know that. Most of those folks out on the streets don't. One of the people who has been fighting this, uh, and by the way, the surveillance comes in many forms. Smart meters can certainly be added to that. It's a smart, 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 smart world, isn't it? Smart grid, smart homes, smart health care, smart meters, but not very smart people. That's the real problem here. Most people just really don't get it, and many of those who could get it don't want to, and I honestly don't blame them. If they're smart enough to figure it out, and decide that this is not for me, I want nothing to do with it, and they withdraw, that's fine. That's what freedom is about. But those who want to do something about it need to be informed. They've got to have a plan. They can't just run around with wish lists and placards in the streets and and act silly and and approach the wrong targets. One of the people fighting smart meters and, and this whole surveillance takeover is Marty Oakley. Marty's back with us tonight. She has an an essay up on rents.com and her own site, of course, as well. It's called Total Surveillance, Smart Grid, Smart Homes, Smart Health Care, and a Camera on Every Corner. They may have cameras in between every corner before this is over. Hi, Marty. Welcome back. Hi, Jeff. How you doing? Well, all things considered, I I guess I'm all right. (laughs) I mean, it's pretty damn ludicrous. Check the grid, they'll tell you. Yeah, for sure. That's right. You want to know how you're feeling? Just check the grid. Yeah, um, there you go. This whole thing, smart meters, we know a lot about now, thanks to, to you and Dr. Bill Deagle, DV Kidd, and many others who have, have been really pushing this. PG&E is backing off to a degree. I'm not sure how far. Uh, San Diego Gas and Electric backed off on, on Deagle. Uh, he drew the line and said, cross it, and they wouldn't cross it. So more power to him and many others who are fighting. This latest thing, which we can add, maybe start out with, is called IntelliStreets. And I've run a couple of stories oh. about IntelliStreets. Now, what they're yeah. doing here basically is is turning all lampposts and telephone poles into surveillance 
stations to watch you, like in England. If you folks remember a few years ago, the British put in cameras everywhere, and everyone said, ah, we're going to be safer. Well, then the British put in cameras and listening devices everywhere, and the people said, hmm. And then they added the ability to talk to the people on the streets so they could watch, listen, and talk to the people and tell them what to do. That got to be too much, and I think they've disconnected some of that. Meanwhile, last thing I'll say, and I'll get out of the way here, 65 or almost 67% of New York City residents said they wanted cameras everywhere to make them safe. So, like I say, if the sheep had tails, they'd be chasing them around the clock. Marty, tell us more. Don't you find it odd, Jeff, that, I mean, for myself, uh, when I hear and see all of these laws that they pass, supposedly because the terrorists are after us, and if we don't give up our freedom and our liberty and let them spy on us and read our email and listen on our phone calls and track and trace us everywhere, that somehow a terrorist is going to get us. Why doesn't it dawn on people? They did get us. They're coming from the government. And they're here. They are us. Exactly. I don't understand this thinking of people, well, it, they're just trying to make us safer. What part of this made you safer? What part of allowing the government to trash the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, and spy on you, prosecute, persecute, surveil you, what part of that made you safe? Grope From you, home? grovel you, violate you, kill you. I mean, our American police force has publicly executed at least 400 Americans now with tasers. They didn't even have to shoot them with guns anymore. We saw what happened to that Scott Olson in Oakland. The Oakland police sent another war veteran to the hospital in in very serious condition with a ruptured spleen. They shot him. Uh, What's really amazing to me is you you said it. The enemy is us. And it's not just the enemy in Washington, D.C. It's your neighbors, folks, who have families. They're law enforcement Mm -hmm. officers. They're just doing their jobs. No, they're not. There's something wrong with a lot of these people because they're not Americans, just following orders that aren't constitutionally allowed, legal, or in any other way proper. It does not make you a good American. No way. Well, and that's that's the thing, too. When I got to tracking all this information down, I had all of this laying here anyway. And you know how I'm sure you're the same way. You get a pile of stuff and you know there's a connect the dots pattern there and you just have to put it together and I started putting in chronological order every one of these things uh, that had been put in place going back actually till 2000 where they earnestly came out with it um, but one of the things that just irks me to no end is people trying to label themselves as Democrat or Republican conservative or liberal oh. And choose sides, and I'm, yeah. when I go vote, I'm not voting. You're voting for the same bunch of people. They're just wearing mm-hmm. a different suit. Isn't, you're isn't you're that... buying the sales plan. It's just which sales pitch are you buying? It and is. It is so true. Them against us, and us is losing. And the you've got to dispense with this political affiliation because it's killing you. 